Welcome to the math series. This video will address some of the things that you can do over the summer to prepare for math at Mac. The following three videos on problem solving skills will help you when you're actually in your first math class. There are several differences between university level math and high school math. You have probably already heard that you have to study twice as hard at university math. This is only a partial truth, however. In fact, for most students, the biggest barrier to their success in, say, calculus is not the calculus itself, but high school algebra. One of the best things that you could do over this summer is to prepare yourself for that class. McMaster professor Dr. Milosov Lovric has already taken much of the pain out of this for you by providing you with a downloadable math review guide for free. To get the guide, simply go to this website and download it in either Word or PDF format. When you've downloaded it, print it off. Of course, you can't just download it and be successful at math. You actually have to use it. What follows are some self-management tips to help you working your way through this guide. The first recommendation is to organize your review process. Most students find that creating a habitual study routine is the most effective way to get through something that they otherwise would not really want to do. Math in summer does not sound like fun, so seek the path of least resistance. For many, this means to not study at home. Find a coffee shop, a public library, or another space that you can kind of claim as your own and go there to do your review. The second recommendation is to study often. 30 minutes three times a week ought to do it. 30 minutes is about right for most students. It's not so long that you're going to feel like it's a burden to do the studying, and yet it's long enough to get right into the material. If you're still struggling with this, you may be procrastinating, and you might find some of the videos on procrastination helpful. Third, really study it. Don't just look it over. Actually solve problems. Math errors stack. If you get something wrong or you don't understand something early in the process, it gets worse as you go through the program. If you don't understand sine and cosine and can easily set up relations using trigonometry, you're going to struggle all the way through calculus. Not with the calculus itself, but with high school algebra. So go back and when you're reviewing, review thoroughly. Make sure that you actually understand what you're doing when you're solving those problems. Fourth, clean up your math. Some examples include transposing numbers in between steps. They might try to go so quickly that they can't read their own handwriting, missing or assuming parentheses, losing or dropping a sign, and skipping steps. When you make a simple error like this, don't assume that it's simply going to disappear on its own just because you've discovered it. In fact, most of these errors are habitual. You'll keep making the same error over and over and over again unless you aggressively tackle the problem. One way to do this is to resolve the problem from scratch. Don't just recognize where you went wrong. Actually resolve it beginning with step one all the way through. And do that two or three times to really establish that new habit and new pattern. Fifth and finally, go beyond the math guide if you need to. There are lots of math help guides out there on the market. You can go to a library, you can buy one online. Any book that deals with pre-calculus algebra can be very helpful to you. Keep in mind, you might want to watch the problem solving series before you start solving problems in the math review guide to make sure that you're solving them in the right way. Good luck and welcome to Mac.